Welcome, welcome, welcome to what's the name of this show? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, <laughs> oh, we're you gonna say without a paddle. <laughs> Who knows? Might might come out. It sounded, it sounded like. Oh <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome, welcome, welcome to without a paddle and punked. Uh, <laughs> welcome to F one with DRS. Woo, that was rough. I'm trying to think what I'll blame that. Well, I know exactly what I'm going to blame that on. Uh, good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, Charlie, Matthew, Jethro. Good evening. I just noticed you were sucking out of a coffee cup there. Is that that's not coffee, is it? I am. Yeah, I'm drinking coffee. It's um, four thirty p.m. here. It's dark outside. I've been on my own with a toddler for a couple of days. I'm mm. preparing for an economy flight with a toddler tomorrow, <laughs> oh, from oh, London oh, to oh. Chicago. And then I'm dropping Ellie off there, and then I'm flying on to Los Angeles. So I'm preparing for the worst day of my life, and I still have to pack. What are the odds that you just go into the restroom and end your own life about midway over the Atlantic? (laughs) What's the over-under on you making it here alive? (laughs) I won't go that far, but there could be tears, and it won't be Ellie who's crying. (laughs) Do you know the funny thing, though? When I travel with her on my own, I've done this several times you get so much love as a man traveling with a toddler mm. oh like the air hostesses the stewards they can't believe it this woman was like oh my god i've never seen this in all my years <laughs> and they treat you like a king and you can do anything <laughs> and then whenever laura travels with ellie on her own they're like stay in your seat make sure she's wearing a seat belt don't talk to anyone <laughs> you're, you're absolutely right and when you're cruising around yeah it's the closest you can feel to like what nuns must feel like when people just look at them and they're like well that's a good person. (laughs) Like they look at you like, oh, this man is a good, good man. Yeah, they do believe that. Little do they know that I'm secretly dying inside. (laughs) Well, and and as the father of two girls, of course, I'm a feminist and I want this to end. But I'm glad I'm experiencing the tail end of it where it's still quite exciting for people to watch dads being active dads. (laughs) Like it may be in the next generation. No one will give a shit. I was so surprised to see that level of appreciation. Like literally Ellie will go up the back. They'll pull out the carts with all the food and drinks and she's playing in the gaps and stuff and they, they literally they, they think it's great it's and adorable when, yeah but then when laura's doing it it's the complete opposite well it's funny you'd bring that up because um that'll be my weekend update which is i kind of similarly uh it was monster jam we do not miss a monster jam it was in anaheim and charlie was out of town normally charlie and ace would come so i said you want me to take ace so then we we're up to three and then Delta wanted to bring her buddy, Freddie, Freddie Mercury, real name, Freddie Mercury. Freddie coolest, Mercury's the best. Literally the coolest. Coolest kid. I think, I was about to say kid I've ever met. I think no. he might be the coolest person <laughs> I've ever met in my life. Uh, the whole ride down to Anaheim, which was long, we were in the Raptor, and I'm getting on it occasionally, as is necessary, in heavy traffic. <laughs> and he's in the backseat, and he's going... Dax, you're the best driver in the whole world. And I'm like, oh, my God, this would have been so fun to have a boy. Like, no one in my family care. I mean, they're just annoyed by my jackrabbit starts and accelerations. And then we pulled into Anaheim. It was a pretty tight spot, and I came in hot. And when I put it in park, he goes, with this driving, we can do anything. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my God, I want a boy. Is he just your internal monologue? This is actually a fictional character. This is a little voice in your head. <laughs> He's my dream <laughs> internal monologue, yes. I mean, Ace, could, he couldn't give a shit. I think maybe it's because he was, you know, he's been surrounded by all girls yeah. his whole childhood. But he was like, take it or leave it. He didn't really care. But God bless Freddie. He was a cheerleader back there. But anyways, all that to to summarize, the fact that I was one person with these four kids, similar thing. Everywhere we walked in the stadium, like women were like, ah, look at this. That same thing. And it was a beatdown. It was a six-hour ordeal from door to door. But the glory of being seen as a good person the whole time was was worth the squeeze. Almost worth the uh, financial and general pain of having children just to feel that that momentary... (laughs) superhero status. Those slivers of joy. I love your negativity today. It's incredible. (laughs) I'm so tired. (laughs) You can drink a coffee at 4 p.m. and then hit the rack? I will drink coffee up until 9 (laughs) p.m. 
And then how long, what are you going to bed after that? 10.30, 10.30, okay. 11. I Impressive. can still do it. I normally have my last coffee at 8.30, I'd say. But I will occasionally, oh. if I'm in Italy, I might occasionally do the Italian thing of having an espresso at like 11 o'clock after food, just because it feels the right thing to do. Wow. I'm kind of the same. I know. I'm not being crazy. I think I would dedicate a pinky for that. Like if you offered me the trade, cut off one of my pinkies, but I can drink coffee up till nine and then go to sleep <laughs> like a like a hibernating bear. Yeah, I would I would take that. It's great. I mean, because in the day I want to drink cold brew all day because right. it's hot and nice yeah. into the late afternoon. And then at night, I love just, yeah, an espresso, a cappuccino at night. It's great. Mm. Crawl into bed with a nice mm-hmm. hot mug of coffee. Mm-hmm. So when's your last coffee, Dax? This is it right here. <laughs> Virtually. <laughs> no, I can't go past two. And two's not even wow. really right. But I so often interview people at two and then I, I give myself this excuse that I'm allowed to do anything because it's work. But it, on a Saturday, I got to shut it down by noon, I think. So last night, which is probably why I couldn't remember the name of our show, I woke up at 2 a.m. I'd gone to bed early. I went to bed at like 9. Woke up at 2 a.m., put my book on tape back on. Elon Musk, the uh, Walter Isaacson book. Can't recommend it enough. It's wonderful. I'm anticipating I'll listen to 15 minutes of it. Set the timer for an hour. I'm laying there. Hear it go off. I'm like, oh, shit, now it's 3. Do we fire this back up or do we try it now without the book? I've decided the book's too interesting. That's what's happening. So I go without the book for another hour and 45. Oh, oh boy. Now it's 445 and I go. You just got to get up. Who are you kidding? You get get up, right? At least you could do something productive with this. So I get up. I go to the other room and I get a coffee made. I do my meditation and I'm about to journal. I was like, oh, maybe I could. (laughs) fall back asleep so I <laughs> laid it back down and I did I got in like an hour and 30 okay but it was a mismatch hodgepodge scatty wampus torturous oh night oh. of slumber and I hadn't even had coffee Jethro maybe that's a mistake you need to condition your body and just drink coffee quite late and then on the days you really need to sleep just shut it down early my father drank coffee all night long he woke up all night I would hear when I lived with him I'd hear him up three four times in the middle of the night and he would wake up same thing and hear his lighter clicking he'd always had a fancy lighter that never worked so you hear like <laughs> click, 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 click. and then he had one that was battery probably you'd hear that and then you'd hear him walk into the kitchen grab ice cold coffee that had been sitting in the craft pour himself a cup drink that have a cigarette then go back to bed for another hour and 45 and then do that three times Oh, oh! We I were, think he had told himself he was like you guys, but the, but the, he wasn't. The evidence yeah. would suggest otherwise. I very rarely see people smoke cigarettes in the U.S. I knew this Italian guy, really nice guy, uh, really fast name Luca Venturi. He used oh. to work for um, Pagani for, as a PR guy for like beautiful supercars and stuff. But he moved to San Francisco area and smoked because he's Italian and. I think he may have left the country just because he couldn't handle the attitude to cigarettes yeah. anymore. Jethro, you'll love this story. You're the only one here that doesn't know it. But um, a friend of ours was, was driving in the car with his three daughters and Michael Jackson came on the radio. And somehow, well, you know, Michael Jackson, what happened when he died, blah, blah, blah. Somehow he stupidly said, you know, and then he did something really terrible. But I, I, don't, I don't know if I should say what he did. And they're like, what do he do? And in in the our friend was like, it, it really, it's just too terrible to talk about right now. And the one daughter goes, "Did he smoke cigarettes?" <laughs> Oh like, if that doesn't God. tell you what the attitude in L.A. is about smoking, the most abhorrent thing she could you think. You can't talk about it. The thing you could have ever done. Was smoking cigarettes. And then, and he goes, no. And then B, and she goes, did he show someone his penis? And he goes, yeah, kind of like, that's kind of what. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> that's second worst. That's the second worst thing. Second worst. Yeah. Thing. <laughs> second worst. <laughs> 